All right, so in uh, the holiday, because the holidays are coming up, I thought we would do a hip opener, a tree themed, a holiday tree themed hip opener. So today is all things about tree, <laughs> about trees. So we'll start out with a reclining tree, sleeping tree, tree taking a nap. All right, go ahead and start onto your back, hugging your knees into your chest and just rocking from side to side. Taking a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hug your right knee into the chest, extend the left leg out long. And when you recline tree, so take the, um, your sole of the right foot and just put it to the inside of your left thigh and allow gravity to open up your hips. You can take your right hand and place it on the inner right thigh to kind of help open up that inner thigh, that inner thigh hip joint. And so we're in a reclined tree, tree pose. Draw the knee so that it's pointing up towards the ceiling. Pull the right knee into the chest, or yeah, into the chest. Drop the knee back out into tree. And you're going to take your big right toe and you're going to trace it down your down the inside of your left leg. When you reach the left ankle, bring the knee back up towards the point, the knee back up towards the sky, and then slowly draw the knee, draw the foot up the inside of your left leg, and then drop the knee out. So you're in reclined tree again. Keeping your knee pointed to the side, drag the foot down, the, drag the right foot down the leg. When you get to the ankle, bring the right knee up towards the sky. Trace your big toe up the leg and then drop it back out into tree. And so kind of continue that loop, drawing the leg down, pointing the knee up, Dragging the foot back up, pointing the knee out to the side. Leg goes down, knee points up, drag the toe back up, drop the knee out to the side. And then we're gonna switch directions. So we're gonna bring the knee back up, point it up towards the ceiling, drag the toe, uh, toe down, drop the knee out to the side, and then drag the foot back up. Knee up. Toe down, knee out, drag the leg back in. Knee up, drag the toe down, drag the knee out, and drag the toes back in. Knee up, drag the toes down, knee out to the side, drag the leg back up and in and shake it off. Other side, extend the right leg out, hug the left knee into the chest. Drag the knee out. And just allow, just kind of warm up. Oof, it's a bit stiff from sitting all day. And just kind of allow gravity to open up that knee Maybe you use your left hand to press the knee open. And trace the big toe, the left big toe down your right leg, down to the ankle. Point the knee up, drag the toe back up, the knee goes out. Drag the toe down, point the knee up, drag the toe up, and point the knee out. Drag the toe down, drag the knee up, pull the knee up, and drag it open. Drag the foot down, knee goes up, pull the knee up, and open. And the knee goes up, drag the foot up, and the leg goes open. We're going to reverse direction. 
the knee goes up, the foot goes down, turn the knee out, and drag the toe back up. The knee goes up, the toe goes down, the knee comes out, and the toe comes back up. The knee up, toe goes down, the knee goes out, and the toe comes up. One more, knee up, toe down, knee out, and drag the toe in. And kind of reset in that tree. Take both feet, take the feet together, knees apart. In Baddha Konasana, butterfly, recline butterfly pose. So taking both knees out to the side. And allowing gravity to open. Press the soles of the feet together. And allow gravity to open. And hug your knees in your chest, rock on up into seated. Taking the right leg, so take left leg straight, right knee bent into a seated head to knee pose, but we're kind of like a bent tree. We're a seated bent tree. We're in a tree. Inhale, exhale to the outside of the left pinky toe. So really this is getting into the back, kind of the hip this outer side back right here that connects into the hip. Oof. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, extend the collarbone towards the toes. And other side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach. So bend the left knee, extend to the outside of the right pinky toe. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward, forward, forward. And release. I want to come up to standing. And we're gonna do standing tree. We'll do standing tree, holiday tree, you can be a Christmas tree. You can be, what are the different kinds of Christmas trees are there? So go ahead and root both feet into the earth, all four corners. So finding the toe, the pinky, uh, like, a, like a rectangle. Like each foot is like a rectangle and can you shift the weight forward to the toes and then shift the weight back to the heels and then find the center of your foot and then pressing down on all four corners of the feet. So left, right, back and inside. Glue your left leg down, pull your right leg up into tree Tree can be here with your toe on the ground and just on your ankle, or it could be here or it could be here. You just don't want it on your knee, just above or below. And sometimes it's easier when I don't have, like, sometimes it's easier when I have shorts on, um, so the leg just doesn't slide down the leg. The foot doesn't slide down the leg. So in tree, if you want, you can take your um, right hand, to the inside of the thigh to help press it open and press it back, opening that hip even more. And just breathe. Rooting your foot down. Your foot will be, this is dynamic balance. So there's gonna be a lot of wobbling around to maintain balance. Balance isn't about being still, balance is about, it's, it's, that's why it's called a dynamic balance because your muscles are shifting and engaging. Um, taking your hands up towards the sky in a V. If you want to make it more challenging, you can take your gaze up to your uh, uh, your gaze up to the hands. To make it even more challenging, you can close the eyes. You can take toppling or tree swaying in the wind by side bending over to your bent knee, if you want. This is, ah, oh, here we go. Mm. 
and release, release, release. Let me check it out. I always wear, I try to wear shorts when I do tree because I always tend to slip <laughs> down the leg. It's easier when there's something to hold on to. Okay, tree on the other side. Anchor into your right foot. So find your, you're like a tree. You are a tree. You're embodying the Christmas tree. You want to root down into the earth. Draw your left leg up. Inhale, you can take the left hand to press your left knee back, opening that hip. Inhale, exhale, breathe down into your foot, root into the earth. So root into the floorboards. Inhale, exhale, root underneath the floorboards into the cement, inhale, exhale, root down, past the cement into the dirt underneath your house. Inhale, you can take your arms up towards the sky in a V to make it more challenging. You can take the gaze up to your hands to make it even more challenging. You can close your eyes. Take swaying tree. So we're gonna side bend it over to the left. That gives an, a stretch on the left side. Challenging your balance and release and shake it out. All right. So taking tree, let me scoot myself back a little bit so you can see. Okay, so taking tree back on the ground. We're gonna come down into kneeling. If you need to pad your knees, you can pad your knees with a towel or a blanket. We're gonna do extending our right leg up to the side. We're gonna inhale, exhale, side bend it over. So we're in a supported plank, opening the chest up towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna go the other way towards our straight leg. So we've got our right leg out straight, inhale. Exhale, supported side plank. Inhale, exhale, gate pose. So using the back of this hand against the thigh to twist open and reach. Inhale, exhale, in supported side plank. Inhale, exhale, side bend it over into gate pose. Inhale. Exhale, supported side plank, we're gonna add on. So you can either stay here in supported side plank or you can root down into the inside of your left foot. We're gonna do side plank tree. We're gonna float the right knee off, right, or sorry, left knee off, left foot into the, touching the thigh into side plank tree. Lower down the leg, inhale. Gate pose, inhale, side plank. You can stay here in a supported side plank or you can float your right knee off the mat, side plank tree. Lower down, inhale, exhale, gate pose. Inhale, windmill both hand down, hands down to the mat. Your left knee is down. You come into plank and take tree plank. So my left knee is out to the side, I'm in plank and I'm in tree. If this is too much, maybe you drop your knee down and you're in all fours and you take your knee out to the side. So you're in tree plank or supported tree plank. You can come all the way down onto your belly and take it up. So now you're in, you're on a reclined tree. I guess you're a tree that just fell over and it's ready for a nap. Okay, maybe you're a napping tree. This is a napping tree. Maybe you press it back up into a tree plank. Maybe you press it back into a one-legged down dog tree. 
you come forward into tree plank and you come down and take a nap. And you come back into all fours and we come up and then we do the other side. And extending the other leg out. So this is your left leg out. Inhale. Exhale, supported side plank, opening up the chest up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, back of the left hand, twist open against the leg, side bend over. Inhale, exhale, reach and open. Inhale, exhale, gate pose, rotate and reach. Inhale, exhale, open, side supported side plank. Inhale, exhale. Gate pose, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, coming into side plank, supported side plank or, su or side plank tree, root down into the inside of the, what foot is this, your straight foot, your left foot, float the right knee off. You're in supported side plank or side plank tree, and lower it down, inhale. Exhale, other side. Inhale. Maybe you float up into side plank tree and float and open. Maybe you lower your leg down. Maybe you come into tree plank or tree plank with your right knee down or your left knee down. And you lower down for sleepy tree. This is sleepy tree. Tree taking a nap. Inhale, maybe you come back up into a tree plank. So tuck your right, your left toe under and press into back into a plank with your right knee out to the side. And then maybe you come back down to sleepy tree. Pressing back up and finding your way into one legged down dog tree with your right knee out to the side. Shift forward and come back down one more time for a sleeping tree. And come back into all fours. And we'll come down into a seat. So we did standing tree, we did sleeping tree, we did recline tree, we did half tree. What else? What are the trees? Okay. Then we could do um, butterfly pose. So have a seat, soles of the feet together, knees apart. Flap your wings, flap, flap, flap. Inhale, tall, exhale. So it's not about rounding. It's about lifting through your collarbone forward, forward, forward. and pressing the knees down. I should probably wear pants that have a better contrast to, uh, to my yoga mat, huh? And your feet are like a book. You're trying to peel your book open to read it like this, pressing your knees down and reaching your collarbone forward. Forward, forward, forward towards me. Inhale, exhale, lengthen, press the knees apart, down towards the ground, come towards the mat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We can do double pigeon. So stacking um, ankle over knee, knee over ankle. Pressing the knees down, pressing the chest forward. 
Maybe you stay here. Maybe you come forward walking your hands. Inhale, come back up and switching sides. Pull the shoulders back and down. Press the chest forward. Walking the hands forward. Inhaling. And coming back up. Taking the legs out wide into a V. So your hip sockets should be more open since we spent a lot of time in external rotation for trees because we've been lots of trees. What kind of Christmas tree are you today? Inhale. Exhale, reaching forward. So we want to keep our knees pointed up towards the sky and keeping that external rotation. So we're rotating our feet out, which keeps our knees pointed up towards the sky because otherwise when we come in, our knees tend to roll in. So we're reaching forward, tipping our pelvic bowl forward, but we're counterbalancing with our feet rotating outwards to keep our knees pointed towards the sky. Wide-legged forward fold, seated wide-legged forward folds. Inhale, exhale, collarbone comes forward. The collarbone comes forward. Press the back of the knees down into the mat. So really active through your legs, really active through your quads. The more like you're trying to crack a peanut underneath your knee crease, and you're trying to smash it or walnut. And release. Coming over to the right side, inhale. So take the right elbow and you want to twist. You want your rib cage inside of the thigh. You want to twist. So with the elbow, twist in and reach towards the right foot. But you want to keep your rib cage inside. So you want to twist inside. So this gets at the pectineus, the inner thighs, and a bit of your back, which we did during gate pose. Other side. So on your left foot, the first thing we want to do is we want to get the elbow against the thigh if you can to get the rib cage to come in here. Because it's less about this, right? That's very different than getting the rib cage to twist and reach. Even though I can't touch my toes this way, this is opening up my low back. Root your left sit bone down. Crack those peanuts underneath your knees. Maybe you could be a walnut tree. A walnut tree is actually really messy. It drops a lot of stuff that's sticky. My neighbor has one on the sidewalk and he's gonna get rid of it because it just keeps dropping stuff and it's sticky and you trip over it and it makes the sidewalk all gooey and release. And come back up, come back up into your butterfly, weeble wobble, flap your butterfly, fly little butterfly, fly from the tree. Press your chest forward, collarbone forward. Inhale, come back up. Inhale, hands together down to heart center. Thank you for joining me today and embodying your holiday tree. I'll see you guys next time.